I think the Chinese version is way way better than eFootball Global. So yeah, hey yeah. guys, welcome back. So the first thing you have to do is download the Tap Tap app. The link is inside the video description, and this is for Android. For iOS, it's quite simple, but I can make a video on that later. So for Android, just search eFootball 2024 inside the Tap Tap. Same as iOS. Now make sure that the eFootball 2024 uh yeah searching it like this because sometimes it might not appear if you don't search it with the words accurately intact like this okay so once you find it this is the logo install download and install it now after downloading and install it, uh, installing it let's move on to the next step now once you open it you get an option whereby you can select your number enter your number to get a verification code but when you enter it here you won't get a verification code so what you have to do is is click on that red button that i'm using the yellow arrow to point now once you click on that red button it brings you here click on where the arrow is pointing again and once you click there it brings you to this new dialog box and this new dialog box what you have to do is enter a random email you want to use to create the account so just choose the first one at 163.com then uh, for inside the first dialog box you just enter any random name you want to use as the email link to your eFootball account then enter your password in the next box after you are done click on the blue area now this is where you'd actually have to enter your number so once you get here just scroll all the way down look for your country's uh code my country is plus 233 so i found it and entered my phone number then i click on the blue button again sometimes it may take long for the code to arrive but mine was very very fast so just give it about like uh, 10 minutes if it doesn't arrive just repeat the process again by repeating the process i mean you can either close the entire app and then restart it and follow the process again or you can just press your back button it will just send you back to where you entered your email and then password so i'm currently waiting for the code so i have my code now i've successfully created my eFootball linked account now after i've completed with this step it might bring you back to this place automatically if it doesn't bring you there just click on that red button again once you click on that red button down it would send you to that page and inside that page enter the details that's your email and the password okay so once you are done click on the red button again and it brings you here and it's asking you what name and id you have in china now you can't use any details like that to fill this particular form so it's, not, it's just two places i've placed a link inside the video description you just open it and then you just pick any two random oh yeah this is the link how the link looks like so what you have to do just scroll all the way down make sure you add the a column scroll all the way down because the ones at the top won't work just scroll all the way down to somewhere like t and then pick a random line and copy this particular and the 330 make sure you are copying the name and then the id number okay a name and id number if it doesn't work you try a different set of two so once you've copied them go back into the chinese eFootball again it's actually very very easy click on the red button again once you click on the red button uh, inside the second column paste the words in chinese the words in chinese inside the yellow arrow and then the numbers in the pink arrow once you paste them it would automatically bring you into the game but if it wasn't successful try a different pair of two characters a name and numbers and after that it, it starts to download the game data and some additional data of one 1.1 1 .1 gig before it downloads the 
live game data so yeah that's how easy it is and i think chinese version of eFootball is by far the best like lots of features inside the chinese eFootball that i highly recommend that you guys try it out and i'll be making more videos on this let me know if it worked for you and i'll see you guys in the next one so at this point i'm just entering the username i want for my konami account inside the game that's the username other users would see my account as so that's what i just entered then at this point it's just downloading the live data although it's in chinese it's not even an issue at all because it's very very easy to navigate it's the same buttons everything is exactly where it is as it is in the global so whatever wherever confirm and yes is that's the same way and position it is in the global so it's not actually